how to use HubSpot for lead generation. As you can see here, this software is all in one platform for any type of business. Whether you're a big business or a small business, this platform is perfect for you. And this is a business suite where you can manage everything. So from marketing, sales, service, and many, many more. And for today's video, we will be focusing on the lead generation. And there's no need for you to worry about the monthly subscription, guys, because as you can see here, this platform also offers free tools. And from the free tools, you can have a lot of features that you can make use of for your business. So to get started with the free tools for our lead generation, just scroll down over here and then we will go to Marketing Hub. So as you can see here, for Marketing Hub, you have the popular features, which is the lead generation. So just click get started for you to sign up for free and get the tools. For the free tools, you can get these popular features like the email marketing, forms, landing pages, contact management, live chat, Facebook, Google, and LinkedIn ads, traffic, and conversion analytics. So to get started, just click here, get started free. And then you just need to sign up by providing your email and create your own password, or you can easily connect your HubSpot account with your Google account. All right, so I already logged into my account and this is your main dashboard once you log in, guys. And to get started with lead generation, we just need to go to marketing over here. And for our lead generation, we will be doing a forms that we will be asking our prospect to provide their email and then we give something like an offer for them to provide this information like their email, their contact information for us to reach them and send them an offer about our business. So to create a new form, just click here, create a form. And then you can choose a form type here from the embedded form, standalone page, pop-up box, drop-down banner, slide in left box, slide in right box. But for today's tutorial, I will be choosing the pop-up box since this is the most popular form type for lead generation. So I will go ahead and select this one and then click next up here. And then you'll be redirected to this page where you can create your form. And the first thing that we need to create is the call out information. So from here, we just need to fill out the information here and then make sure that everything you enter here will attract your prospect. You can offer like 50% discount off or you can offer a free guide or free service for those who will be providing their email or their contact information. And you can make use of that information to send them a follow-up or an offer. So for example, here, the first thing that we need to do is to add the call out text. So for example, here, let's say, get a free step by step guide for beginners. All right, and the next step that we need to do is the call out body. This will be a description about our offer. So let's just say here, for example, if you want to earn $100 per day, then download this free guide for you to learn everything for free all right so i guess that's it this is just for a tutorial guys and here you can also change the call out button text which is here so we have the subscribe now we can change it like click here now all right and then you can also change the color here if you have a color for your brand then you can change the color here so you have a different color that you can select from over here. And with that, I will just go ahead and select the red one that is more attractive. And then make sure that you select here the form step. And by the way, guys, you can also upload your image here for this offer and make sure that your image is also attractive, that it will attract your prospect leads or clients. So I will go ahead and click next here. 
So the next step is the form. So first is we need to add a form body text. So for example, let's just say fill out to get the free guide today. Okay, so let's just make use of that. And then the next thing that we can do is add fields. So as you can see, as default, we have our email here. But you can also add more here like a contact number, or you can also ask for the name. So let's just add the first name here, and also their last name. So this is how you can get more leads, guys, from the HubSpot. So you can just create a pop-up form for your prospect to give information, and then you can make use of this information for your email marketing. So you can easily drag and drop this one to organize your fields. So just like this one. And then you can have the form button text here again. But for this, I will just keep this one here. And then the next step is the notice or consent. Like when you are signing or providing information, there is a consent there that you need to check if you agree that these companies will get your information and make use of your information, something like that. And then you have your language, then set the life cycle stage. So you have a different stage here. And this is a default from HubSpot. So you have the uh, subscriber, lead, marketing qualified, sales qualified lead, opportunity, and more. But today, I will just go ahead and keep this lead. And you can also enable the CAPTCHA for you to avoid any spam information getting in. So after that, you just need to click next here for the next step. And that is the thank you message. So I will just go ahead and keep this one here and I can add a button here. And from this button, let me just change the text here, get the guide now. And then the next thing is what should be the button linked to. So here you can link this button to a website where they can download the free guide file or you can just simply attach a file here you can download a file so just click browse file and then here you can add a file from your computer you can upload it here and then whenever your prospect will click this button then they will download the file to their device so after that we just click next here and then targeting, choose the web pages you want your pop-up to appear and add additional filters based on information about your visitors. You can also add rules to hide your pop-up. So first, we need to target your visitors by choosing the web pages where you'd like your pop-up to appear. So here we have when website URL and then is all pages or we can just click is and then we just need to provide the specific page or URL that you want this pop up to appear. So for example, here I just want this pop up to appear to my home page of my website. And then you also have your triggers. I will just go ahead and keep this on exit intent since that is the recommended for this type of pop-up form. But if you would like to, you can also do the 50% page scroll. It means that your pop-up form will start to appear after your prospect or your visitors will scroll down the 50% of your home page. And here we have a different option. So if you want to remove the HubSpot logo from your pop-up forms, then you can upgrade your plan, but I guess that is fine. And by the way, the HubSpot will just show up on the bottom part of your form. So I guess that's okay because we are using the free tools. And then here you have an option to get the small screen sizes. I will just keep everything here as it is and I will just go ahead and click next here for automation and here under automation is where you can send a follow-up email and for free tools you can only send one follow-up to each of your prospects so this will be the simple workflow you can send a follow-up email after the form submission so let me just go ahead and click next here to check the preview so this will be our pop-up form and when we click here so we can enter our first name, last name, email, and then the phone number. And after that, just click next. And here's the 
consent that we added also. So they will just click the I agree button and then subscribe now. And this is the last button where your prospect will be routed to a different website or download the file directly. So once everything is complete, then you can just go ahead and click the publish button. And this one will be published inside your website. And then the last step that you need to do is to install the tracking code in your website and then you are good to go. So that's how you can increase your lead generation using the HubSpot. And I guess that's all for today's tutorial. If you have any question, guys, just comment below and thank you so much for watching.